Hi, folks. So I <clears throat> hope you're all being safe out there. Um, this is the uh, mask that was uh, designed by the Cooper Medical School over at Rowan University. Uh, so shout out to the students and faculty for uh, pulling this off. Uh, I actually printed this on my 3D printer. The whole point behind this mask, and I want to uh, start off by saying I am not a medical professional. Um, do not take this as medical advice, but I wanted to show you how you can use this mask and, uh, in essence, use it in an emergency to replace an N95 mask with using a small amount of material. The theory operation here is that you have a filter which sticks into the middle, and if you have an N95 material or a filter of some sort that you can cut uh, small sections out, you can take those sections out, put them in here, press the filter down, and now you have a, a mask which allows a single mask to be not reused, but you can use the material uh, probably six or seven times from one mask out of this. Now, these things are printed with uh, PLA, which if you don't know what that is, no big deal. This is what 3D printers usually use. Um, and uh, this is very washable, uh, and we'll talk about that. So uh, the basic idea is you want to be able to get this, which is your breathing filter, through here, but put fabric underneath it. So in general... Uh, or specifically here, I grabbed a napkin. Obviously, don't use a napkin uh, for your th filter material. You might as well not have the mask on. But really, there's no uh, exact measurements here. I already uh, drew it out. You basically want to put the um, uh, put the filter down, and I just used a sharpie to sketch around. You want to have enough material around a material material around it to have it come around the outside. Okay, so I've got my material cut out in the brick there. Uh, you can see it's just a little bit uh, larger than the actual filter itself. And I'm going to try to do this one-handed. Um, but basically take the material that you would have cut from your 95 mask. Don't use a napkin. Take the filter, stick it in the middle, and push until you hear a nice click. And there you go. Uh, the material will be uh, fully uh, seated, and uh, you shouldn't have any wiggle there. And it's, it's quite stable not gonna fall out. Uh, once you're done with it um, and you wanna replace that material, it's, it's quite easy. Uh, it's perfectly fine to just to push and it goes straight through. And now it's been, you can discard this. In terms of cleaning, I'll be honest with you, I definitely might wanna look at uh, CDC recommendations or I think there's some protocols that have come out uh, from hospitals uh, about how to clean masks, but in general, um, you would want to clean the heck out of this thing. I would definitely use a 60% alcohol solution, uh, dunking it in bleach, uh, something that would uh, be able to get every crevice inside of this thing before you want to reuse it. Lastly, uh, the print uh, has these holes. So one, two, three, four. And uh, you can pretty much string anything you want in there. Obviously, an elastic uh, band would be more comfortable, uh, but you could literally use a uh, string, fishing line, um, pipe cleaners have been used, uh, anything to be able to secure it where you can knot it on this side, get it around your head, and get a comfortable fit. Uh, PLA plastic is quite hard, so this is going to leave an indent on your face. Uh, one um, uh, way that you might get around that is to get some, uh, uh, some uh, foam piping uh, to put around that to make it a little bit more comfortable uh, and, and go from there. All right, so be safe out there. Hope this helped.